Welcome to Creative Med School by Healthy People, Happy Doctors. In this video, we are discussing bronchiectasis. Let's begin. B. Bronchial Hygiene R. Resection for refractory cases O. Obstruction Infection inflammation cycle N. Non-tuberculosis mycobacterium C. Cuff crepitations clubbing H. Hemoptysis I. Irreversible condition. E. Embolization. C. Computerized tomography. T. Tram track, tree in bud, taperless bronchioles, traction bronchiectasis. A. Antibiotics, anti inflammatory agents. S. Signet ring sign. I. Infection S. Systemic causes B. For bronchial hygiene Normally, bronchioles are clean, but in bronchiectasis, bronchioles are not so clean. So, how do we clean a bronchiole? Imagine cleaning a room. How do you clean a room? First, you'll open the door. Then, you'll clean the room. And for tough stains, you use special reagents. So, how do we clean a bronchiole? How? Opening the door can be compared to using a bronchodilator. Inhaling bronchodilators dilates constricted bronchioles, giving access to clean the constricted bronchioles. Cleaning the room can be compared to chest physiotherapy which helps to keep the airways clean by removing the secretions. Special reagents like DNAs are used in cystic fibrosis to clean the thick inspissated mucus. R for resection for refractory cases. When conservative management fails, a part or whole of lung can be resected. O for obstruction, inflammation infection cycle. Obstruction of the bronchioles by secretions will lead to inflammation and can become a foci of infection. This vicious cycle continues converting normal airway into a bronchiectatic airway. N for non-tuberculosis mycobacteria. These are notorious organisms naturally found in water and soil, which are resistant to treatment, especially for monotherapeutic drugs. And these require multiple drugs for over a period of months. C for clinical features. Clinical features include <coughs> cough which is persistent and productive, clubbing and crepitations. H for hemoptysis. A complication seen in bronchiectasis which could be fatal. I for irreversible. Once the normal airway dilates and becomes bronchiectatic, it cannot become normal again. E for 
embolization. It is a procedure where an artery that is bleeding is plugged using special agents. C for computerized tomography. CT scan is the investigation of choice in bronchiectasis, which provides good quality images. T for tram track sign. Tree in bud appearance. Taperless bronchioles. Traction bronchiectasis. Tram track sign. This is a tram. And this is a track. When the image of bronchiectatic lung is observed, we can see lines which are similar to tram track. These lines are formed by thickened bronchial wall. Tree in bud appearance. Sometimes a bronchiectatic lung can also show a non-specific sign called tree in bud appearance where narrow branch-like structure often ends in nodular form. These are formed by impaction within bronchioles. Taperless bronchiole. Normally, bronchioles taper as they progress towards periphery, but in bronchiectasis, they remain dilated till the end. Traction bronchiectasis. In this condition, the bronchioles that are normal to begin with are kept dilated by traction from surrounding abnormal lung parenchyma. Example, pneumonia. A for antibiotics, agents which kill bacteria and anti-inflammatory agents that kill cells which mediates inflammation. These are chosen depending on the condition. S for signet ring sign. Signet rings were used in the past as a sign of family heritage. In bronchiectasis, the ring represents dilated bronchus and signet indicates accompanying non-dilated pulmonary artery branch. In this image, you can see a signet ring. I for infections. When infection is the cause of bronchiectasis, the findings of bronchiectasis are often confined to the segment of the lung that was infected and result in focal bronchiectasis. S for systemic causes. When systemic causes like cystic fibrosis, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, connective tissue disorders, immotile cilia syndrome, immune compromised state result in bronchiectasis, they often cause diffuse bronchiectasis. This is a revision slide. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please subscribe to Creative Med School.